hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to apply for the chevening scholarship okay so this is me going to my browser to type chevening.org i'm going to the chevening scholarship page and i'm just going to be reading through everything i did while recording my screen so you come to the chevening scholarship page that's chevening.org and then you're going to see everything you know the latest information on the page you will scroll through up till the end now let's click apply today okay so we are going to click apply now what happens is when you come to this page you're going to find your award based on your country so we are going to use the select country and then our search for nigeria and then we're going to select the awards available in nigeria which is scholarship i'm looking for achieving scholarship and not fellowship and this is achieving in nigeria page and depending on your country you select your country and you would see the uh, the available awards in your country and then they will just go ahead to show you everything involved required documents election updates and timeline feedback the application guidelines references what to expect during the interview and all of that and then you go through and read their yeah, you know guidance the reference the interview and everything and then what is included in the scholarship university tuition monthly stipend travel cost arrival allowance home work, every single thing you need is interesting is there you would also see the eligibility courses the work experience requirement and everything let's go ahead to apply when you click to apply since you're doing it for the first time you would have to register okay you would have to register accept the guidelines the policy and then you'll go ahead to input your details in your registration form okay uh you know your designation your preferred name so i'm just going to make this application as though i am making a fresh evening scholarship application i had to do this just so that you guys would see because usually i see people um, like last year people asked me questions that they didn't understand in the application oh i saw this question what does it mean that is why i am making this video so that you all will see everything um the way to apply how you should apply the fields that you should include so just take a cue from what i am doing now i'm going to do this from the beginning of chimney scholarship application right to the end so you're going to go ahead to impute your residential address that's your where your residence currently in your country I have done that for me as my Nigerian address then you're going to select your country of residence okay territory of residence and tick the verify and confirm information and then submit registration complete thank you for registering a link to activate your account will be emailed to you so you go to your email and that's the email from do not reply chimney okay please go to the address below to activate your account so you're just going to Click the link that has been sent to you and you go back to the application. Now they will ask you to create a password for yourself. Okay. Make sure that you create a strong password indicated uh, on the tick button. <laughs> I would show you guys what I'm talking about because I think I tried creating the first set of passwords and it didn't tick all the columns and you know everything about passwords so what you're going to do is ensure that you create a password that meets all the requirements and then save it somewhere okay new password did not match okay <laughs> so i went ahead to create a new password that met all the requirements and i was able to submit now my profile has been opened now it is the page to validate my profile so completes every other detail that is required to set up a chevening application profile for me so the details that you had used to open you know to register is there already so you're going to 
put your phone number but because there is no asterisk there it's not compulsory so the only compulsory fields are the ones that have the red asterisk beside okay so you're going to just go ahead and impute your date of birth let's do that for me now the um, country territory of citizenship so this is where you are from notwithstanding where you are resident so i'm from nigeria and put that do you hold dual citizenship no for me no but if you hold a dual citizenship by all means tick yes okay now country territory of birth i was born in nigeria as well so i'll go ahead to put nigeria state province region of birth i'll put my state in nigeria i'm from a private state <laughs> Let's go ahead and put my state in Nigeria and you save. Save before you validate. You're saving so that all the information you have put there would store before you click validate so that in case of any network errors, then you can go back. So submission failed due to the following. So I skipped the two parts there that have been highlighted. So we have to go ahead. State, province, region. Oh, that's where my address and then I have to input my date of birth all over again so the good thing about this application is if you mistakenly skip um, you know if you mistakenly skip a compulsory or mandatory field you will not be able to go to the to the next page okay so I've been able to put in back all my details and validate this time yeah contact profile completed please click here to view your home page now let us go this is the chimney application portal look at that my application interview available open awards historical application so basically this is everything now because we have not started the application everything is zero okay when you you have submitted it will show that you've submitted when your application is unsuccessful it will also show when you've been conditionally selected it will also come up there now let's go to available open awards okay now since i already indicated i'm in nigeria all the scholarships or awards in nigeria would come up so that is nigeria achieving scholarship and it is open the application deadline is there second november 2021 at noon i clicked for more information and when you click you will see award description everything about scholarship country available nigeria you know you would see everything achieving scholarships are awards you just read through everything you see the deadline there references deadline is 22nd february 2022 okay now let's go and make our application you click apply new eligibility questionnaire this page is trying to check if you have met all the eligible requirements okay are you a citizen of eligible country yes you will return to the country or territories through which you are applying for achieving an award for a minimum of two years after you have to select yes otherwise you cannot proceed do you have an undergraduate degree that will enable you to gain onto a postgraduate program at uk you know it's equivalent of upper second class usually people think that this means that if you don't have a two one you cannot apply that's not what it means they are only saying that usually uk universities take um you know two one but if you get a university that takes two two why not okay do you have minimum work experience of two years i clicked yes because i had are you 18 years and above yes will you have completed your undergraduate degree before the date before the submitting <laughs> before submitting your application yes you go ahead and click yes are you applying for a scholarship for a course of study commencing in autumn term yes okay so you click that and you submit because if you do not tick yes that in all those fields that means you haven't met the eligibility requirement now let's continue the application instructions pre-screen pre you have successfully passed the eligibility questionnaire please complete the pre-screen questionnaire in order for the system to determine if you may complete the application form do you aspire to be or are you a leader okay you tick yes because that's what you scholarship ones are you a british citizen i am not a british citizen so no have you previously studied in the uk with funding with the uk government funding no for me so if it is yes for you you can select but so it's no for me okay 
have you been employed in a permanent temporary or internship role July since July by the UK government no for me you know and everything so like I said you always have to save your draft before you submit so we now go ahead to submit pre-screen now application is ready look at my you know this is now the page you go through everything you have to put see my applicant see the essay requirements everything you can scan through the application before you start making your application okay that's my id application id application id there so that's the deadline the registration deadline they are putting it in your face so that you will say you don't know <laughs> so these are all the things you're going to impute in this page okay now they're going to ask you for your preferred interview location since i'm in nigeria i selected abuja because that's where i used to live and if you are in a different city depend so just select the city closest to you for your interview so enter your education details so in order to add your education details you have to click that red button and then is this entry for an undergraduate or postgraduate qualification undergraduate okay and then country of study i studied in nigeria so i went ahead to select nigeria and then confirm you would click to confirm now you're going to add the details of the undergraduate course that you want to include okay if you have a postgraduate course already you can still go ahead to include that but you have to include your most recent qualification first okay so i i went ahead to include my university the date i started check if you're not sure you have to confirm uh, from your documents the date i started and the date i completed my studies okay you have to use that make sure that all the details you impute in your application is consistent okay be consistent so that everything will be in order you don't provide a different date here and in the next document you provide a different date you go ahead to select your course i studied law in my undergraduate degree that's llb so i selected that degree subject is law so i'll just go ahead to select law for me so select whatever your degree is course title for me was still law so i had to type that law result scale now this result scale for me um for my school we use um you know grade point average which is gpa uh depending on the result scale for your university you can use that so i chose grade point average it should have been cgpa but it's gpa here so i selected that because you know my grade point was my gpa was like it's over four is it 400 or 500 i think it's over five so you go ahead and select gpa and then my results i graduated with a 2-1 that's second class or pass so i just typed 2-1 there you would have to you know save submit and add new so if you have another undergraduate degree or postgraduate degree you want to add you submit and add new this is not submitting the application you're just submitting the information on this page okay but because i only included one education details because i want to be fast i submitted i didn't want to go ahead to include my law school details when i was making my application i included my law school details but some of my colleagues did not so it doesn't really matter i only included my law school details because it was a better result it was first class so i, I thought okay it was going to you know promote my the outlook of my application now since you have saved the draft and you have submitted your education details you would see it there and then you can come if anything is not correct you can always edit it by clicking the open button edit the details if you want to add more education you go back and add now let's move forward to work experience achieving scholarship requires you to have at least two years work experience at the time of submitting your application this will include either full-time part-time voluntary paid or unpaid internships a lot of you ask me questions about work experience this is what they mean okay a full-time work experience for them is for this you know um you for this calculation a working 
week comprises 35 to 60 hours a working year comprises 40 to 50 weeks okay so that's how you calculate i have also made lots of other videos on the chimney playlist describing what your work experience means it could be an internship it could be voluntary work as long as you were working whether you were paid or not that's how you calculate and on this page they are going to ask you are you currently employed in full or part-time as at the time i made my application i was employed in full time okay enter your work experience details you're now going to go ahead click the red button add work experience you're going to explain what you do at your job employer organization name enter the name of your company or where you work if you're a business person enter the name of your business just make sure that you enter the correct details job title position i was a legal counsel <laughs> in-house counsel so legal officer was my designation and then you will now go ahead to add more details when did you start you include that be consistent check your employment letter be consistent in your dates now you're going to add if you are still working in that place chivening will automatically calculate it on the closing date of the application which is 2nd november 2021 for this year's application so automatically because you're still working there that the you know the deadline will be there how many hours did you work a week nine to five is 40 hours a week okay that's eight hours every day so chimney once you submit this video automatically to, to, the total will be calculated once you click submit was it full-time employment yes it was was it internship if it was part-time you can include that it was part-time or it was internship or it was voluntary okay if you have the only reason i included okay so i just went ahead to in, in this place you have to describe what you do in your job you know your role and everything ignore the content of what i i put there because i just copied and pasted a certain document because i just wanted to show you guys i was working in the private sector you know when you click the submit so let's just imagine that you do not have two years work experience in the first year you have the option to submit and add new but when i was making my application i added like three different jobs because i had i, I added right from my nyc experience so i could have more than enough experience so but now because i'm just showing you guys i added just one experience and then i saved the draft such that if anything happened to this application when i come back those details are there always save draft before you know you move to the next one now we have included the details for our education and now that is the details for the work experience if you want to add another work experience see now they have calculated the total i have about 56 okay 5600 total number of hours so that means i have met the requirements now let's go on to the ac in this section you are asked to answer a series of short ac questions on the following areas leadership and influence networking studying in the uk and your long-term career as you are aware the evening blah, blah 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 now what i did was please note that the minimum word count is 100 the maximum is 500 if you exceed any of these it will it will cut okay just notice when i paste it will show me how many words left 52 words left if i exceed that it will stop at 500 and whatever is left will not come up so you have to ensure that you do not exceed the word count then you save the draft i just pasted a certain document that's not my essay but i'm doing this just to show you guys okay the application make sure that when you paste everything is there you do not skip your word count and you know so now we're moving on to the application information this is the universities you have chosen three different courses at the same university with similar course titles three different courses with similar course titles at three different universities or three courses at three different universities all with the same course title so you can choose related courses okay and i usually just advise people to use at least three different universities 
so that you have options okay the evening the university and the course you choose the course you choose must be you know not less than nine months not more than 12 months in duration that is the course that evening will sponsor okay now you are expected to apply to these courses as early as possible you know candidates should not enter into any financial commitment with any university unless they are selected for a evening award if a university is asking for a deposit please let them know that you are still in the evening selection process and that results will be announced from early june onward know that you will need to apply directly for your selected course via the university your evening application does not constitute an application for your choosing courses please visit the course finder for the full list of master program now evening applies a tuition fee cap of 22000 pounds to only mba courses so if you're choosing an mba course if the course is more much more expensive than 22000 pounds you have to foot the bills the remaining bills but every other course evening covers everything only MBA that has a fee cap okay just read everything on the site guys the thing is there's so much information and it's very self-explanatory so so note that course queries must so if you have any issues with courses you can ask evening and there's a deadline there now the universities you have selected at university application they are not saying add that you have submitted your or add the application you have used they are only saying select the universities and the courses you have identified that you want to take now let's go selecting the university my first choice was queen mary university obviously so we'll go ahead to select queen mary university confirm university then you'll we'll go ahead to select the course course lists I'm gonna go ahead to select my comparative and international dispute resolution that is it is an llm program and rank is it your first choice is it your second choice is it your third choice obviously it was my first choice so that's it have you already applied guys do not lie if you have not applied you will see that they are not judging you because you haven't applied and this does not affect your selection process in any way I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. If you select, yes, I have applied. They say, good luck. Please remember that if offered a chimney award, you will need to have an unconditional offer before this. If you select, no, they tell you, please apply as soon as possible. If offered, you will need to submit before the deadline, which is 14 July of 2022. So you have enough time. Whether you have applied or not at this point does not affect the outcome of your evening scholarship application. If you have applied and rejected, they tell you, oh, sorry to hear that. We will recommend choosing an alternative course, which you can be certain to be accepted. So, evening is very benevolent, okay? They don't box you into a corner. So, I just wanted to show you guys that I could have select, I can select no. I haven't applied to any course. So, submit and add new because you're going to be putting three universities, okay? Or three courses even in the same university so i'm going to go ahead to select my second choice university i actually had like seven admissions <laughs> but you can only use three admissions for evening so i went ahead to select the second university um let's see the one i chose i think i used the university of strathclyde in uh in scotland let's go there university of strathclyde yes and I'll just go ahead to select my course. Oh my God, I am talking so much. I'm beginning to be tired and this video is, we still have a long way to go. So I went ahead to select my course, Mediation and Conflict Resolution LLM and the rank was second choice. Have you already applied to this school? I said, no. Just so you guys would see that you don't need to apply before you can submit your achieving admission. Achieving application submit and add new because you also always have to add a third option Now let's choose the third university. I think I chose Lancaster University for the third option Mind you I, When I submitted my evening application, I didn't have any admissions yet. I didn't even make any admissions I didn't make any applications yet to any university. It was after I submitted my evening application that I made 
you know the university application so i selected the course that i eventually um, was admitted for in lancaster university which is diplomacy and international law because all of them still have like conflict resolution in them so that was my third option have you applied no i submitted there is no need to add new again because i've added three options submission successful now let us see save draft when you save draft it refreshes the page and you see every detail you have added look at that okay if you want to change you can go ahead and click the open and change that those are my three options if you want to change you click open and change have you applied no 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 and look at that oh guys there was an error i don't know what i clicked and there was an error imagine i did not save my pages i would have lost all my application hey <laughs> this is why i say you guys should be adding save draft so now it is updated that i have an application in progress you click it come back open and it will continue from where you, where you start all the details are there oh my god if i was not saving ha ah, i would have had to start afresh and this application is long it's not what you want to do <laughs> look at that all everything i i already saved is there so i don't have to do them all over again so we're back to where we were now what they're gonna ask you immigration questions subject course. so now which area is your course okay what which area does it fall into what subject area does it fall into let's let's go there let's go um law but it's not human rights law okay so i didn't see and my course is not commercial purely commercial law and it's not human rights law so i just went ahead to select other law because it is purely not commercial it is purely not human rights it is a mix of everything so i went ahead to select other law because it is dispute resolution law come on so you're going to select the area that your course falls into and i selected other law because i was like how come you guys don't have more options than this but that's it is what it is uh, it is what it is <laughs> You just have to select the options do you hold a valid passport for your country yes if you don't you click no and they will tell you please note that if selected for achieving award you will be expected to travel to the uk with a passport so that means even if you don't have a passport at the moment it will not affect your application so i selected no because i, I didn't want to go ahead to start including those things now but well, if you have a passport go ahead to include your passport number okay do you hold a refugee status you do not hold a refugee status so say no if you hold a refugee status say yes do you hold any other form of legal residency that's are you a resident in a, another country other than your country of birth no have you ever been to the uk if yes, you have to select why you were here. Was it on holidays, on visits, on academics, and all of that? I had never been to the UK, so I selected no. <laughs> Do you have a valid UK visa or permission to enter? No. If you have one, please put because they're going to ask you to provide more details. Have you ever been refused a visa for any country? If you have, please put yes. I don't think that it would stop you from getting selected. Have you been deported? For me no <laughs> so i put no do you have any criminal convictions no have you ever been arrested no so the thing is do not lie because they do background checks okay save draft and let's go to the next one okay uh so i just went ahead to ensure that everything i said had saved and i now move to next during your award i will attend mandatory evening events ma'am I will actively engage but you have to the objective of achieving is to support uk foreign policy priorities all award recipients are required to confirm they will adhere to evening's terms and conditions so you have to read evening's terms and conditions i will actively engage in the evening network yes i will remain in the uk during my work yes after your award i understand that any request to remain in the uk will not be granted yes i surrender you are right I will actively engage with Chimney Alumni Community. Yes, sir. I will join Chimney Connect. Of course. I will respond to future surveys. Definitely. Okay. You save. 
and you move on because if you don't say yes you ain't going nowhere so i just and now let's go ahead to upload our document before submitting your application please take the time to complete the below section which will help you improve aspects of chilling program okay ah, la, 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 la. it is important to know that you can only submit your chilling application each year one chilling application each year don't try to submit multiple applications Please, just one is enough for you. The information provided here will be used when assessing your application. And if you selected blah, 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 blah. I didn't finish reading that. I don't know why. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a disability? So the thing is, this page does not affect your uh, application. I think it is just... In order to monitor diversity and accessibility of children applications, we are interested in gathering information, okay? This does not affect who um, the whether you're selected or not it is just to monitor the data and so that they can update their data of oh how many people applied from which region how many would you know identified as disabled how many identified as male or female how did you hear about the children tell them you heard it on my website on my youtube channel or instagram page <laughs> children alumni oh yeah let's go and select children alumni how long less than a year ago how long did you hear about chivning so like i said all of these things do not affect the outcome of your application okay but just tick the boxes that apply to you have you applied to chivning in previous years if you have they will ask you which year was that it doesn't affect your application okay have you considered applying for any other scholarship if you have they'll ask you which one if you have not just say no complete education document so this is where you upload your documents you go ahead to make sure you upload the document that meets the file the file type i just went ahead to do all these things so that i just show you guys that this thing is not difficult <laughs> i uploaded my code to my certificates okay i uploaded when i was making the application i uploaded all my education documents okay that's you the, it shows that you have update upload uploaded the documents that's the document the conditional offers for proposed study i didn't have anyone as at the time so i didn't bother uploading you've seen the deadline there that they are looking for unconditional offers so referee names is not compulsory you have to add them immediately because referee also has a deadline which is 22nd february 2022 references an integral part of the selection you have to upload your references okay now if you have a reference letter upload it there if you have your passport upload it there now this is just for user for feedback how do you do you think the website is easy are you satisfied with how to navigate through the website if you have any additional comments you add that now you have to agree to the terms and conditions and save guys we are officially done with our application so we just go ahead to check that everything is in order we have ticked all buttons we have uploaded documents if you have a reference letter you upload or you want to add the names of your referee you have the name job title organization email capacity in which you know them is it academic employee employer or voluntary you submit and add new so usually you can just add the details of your referee now and later you add the reference you upload the reference letter but if you have it why not if you have the letter why not you have gone through everything and you can submit achieving application when you know that everything is in order okay i will not submit it because i don't want any i don't want to submit another chimney application so you have seen the application in progress once you submit it's going to show one submitted application under review and then when the outcome shows when the outcome comes you will see when it's time for your interview you will come here to book your interview slot it will be updated when you have gone through the essay phase and you have been selected for interview okay now if you have submitted before you will see historical applications that's if you use the same password that you used before i'm not going to submit it so i'm going to just close the page and that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video do well to give it a thumbs up i have tried to like this video share this video to everybody you know need to apply for children's scholarship because i just had to do this to show you guys because a lot of people have issues 
understanding the question so this is how you log in you come back log in and you see your application is there it will be there until few minutes to the deadline so ensure that you submit your application at least few minutes to the deadline i just wanted to show you guys that all the details that i imputed are still there no go area so guys make sure you like this video share this video appreciate this channel drop a comment let me know if this was helpful if it was helpful let me know in the comment section and i will catch you guys in the next video watch every other achieving application videos that i have uploaded on this channel and i'll catch you guys later Bye bye